morning guys welcome back to the channel it's me the south african wanderer and we've got our special guest Prashin. how's it guys uh so i picked up Prashin yesterday but uh couldn't make video really because we had a power outage to midnight electric storm knocked out the substation and yeah there were issues um so we're off today to Punda Maria which is the far north of uh, the Kruger Park and uh, we are doing an extreme birding weekend um, tomorrow through to Sunday and then we've got some time in the park uh, coming back so this is day one just uh, getting there and then this afternoon we'll head off to the Pafuri picnic spot and do some birding on our own before setting up camp and uh, settling in. Quite excited, uh, promises to be a big birding weekend, hopefully we can add a number of birds to the list and uh, if we're lucky get some photos of some rare birds that we need to uh, add to our photography list as well. Prashin, how are you feeling? Yeah, I mean, uh, I echo your sentiments. I think uh, exciting, exciting times. Hopefully, we can get to check out a lot of new birds, uh, particularly in the north of, of South Africa. Uh, there's some specials that we hope you and me hope to get as well. Uh, hopefully, we can see them and photograph them. Yeah, and all in all, just excited. Nice to be out and about and back in the Kruger. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay, cool guys. So we'll check in through the day um, and then uh, hopefully this is going to be one of those trips with a lot of content. So you're going to see them in parts, I'm sure. And uh, look forward to a whole series of our Kruger adventure. Hey guys, so it's about uh, half past one and we've arrived in the Punda Maria camp. We've picked out a little bit of a shady um, camping spot and we're going to set up tent now. And maybe we'll go swimming later, we're right next to the pool. Uh, yeah, Prashin saw a water uh, monitor and he got scared. Now no, he wants scared. to go back home. Didn't get scared. <laughs> I just concerned concerned for his safety in case he gets into the tent and then he also saw some vervet monkeys uh, mating right here in front we're hearing some birds uh, we've seen about 10 species already just in the uh, drive in so hopefully this weekend is going to be good for the birding yeah so we're going to set up now and We'll check in again later. We're heading out to the Pafuri picnic spot after we set up. We're going to have lunch and then head out. guys what's up um, we headed now towards the Pafuri picnic spot we set up camp and uh, had a quick lunch and uh, now we are on our way 45 kilometers to the picnic spot so we are 
I'd say rushing a little bit, but uh, still, you know, doing birding and stuff. That should take us about an hour to get to the picnic spot and then leave us with another 90 minutes at the picnic spot. And then uh, we need to make our way back because the gates close at 6.30. So yeah, uh, Prashin is in the back doing his observations there, ready with his camera. And uh, we'll uh, check in and uh, feedback on our sightings once we on our way back. Hey guys, so we're at the Fafuri picnic spot. As you can see, it's a well wooded picnic spot, and at the moment, it's quite deserted because there's no one here late in the afternoon. It took us about 80 minutes to get here from Punda camp, and um, we'll need to allow another maybe 80 or 90 to get back so that gives us just over an hour to do some birding and see uh, what else we can see while we're here it's already quite promising because we've seen a few species um, just logging on bird lasser and we are just about 29 species now um, logged this afternoon alone so Hopefully we can add a few. I heard a few parrots, so we're gonna try and track those down now and see which of the parrots it is. The Pafuri picnic spot sits on the banks of the Luvovo River. And uh, one of the specials or one of the rare birds that you can see along this river is the Pals Fishing Owl. I've uh, heard it twice, uh, but not seen one yet. So hopefully this trip is going to be where I see that one. The fruit of a sausage tree seen uh, to have some aphrodisiac uh, qualities for obvious reasons. <laughs> it guys so we about uh, 20 kilometers out from uh, Punda Maria we rushing to meet the gate time because the drive to the Pafuri picnic spot was a bit longer than we thought it would be some uh, good uh, species for the first afternoon we up to 40 now on 
our uh, bird last uh, list. Not many photo opportunities though. I don't think there were any actually. Uh, besides the way the waves interacting, I don't think there were any. Yeah, and the waves interacting was in full sunlight as well, so the iridescence may have got us. But uh, basking in the afternoon glow of the sunshine now, you can hardly keep my eyes open. Um, we're gonna go shower, grab some supper, and then maybe make our way out to the uh, hide at the Punda Maria camp and uh, see what we can see there. But uh, all in all, a good day for just you know three or three and a half hours in the park so far. And uh, tomorrow we back at it. Oh, so junior though. Yeah. So we've run into two youngsters. One's given me a head shake. I'm gonna try and pass because we're already late for the gate closing. That situation, if you reversed, he'd charge. Oh, okay. Yeah. He gave you the head shake. Yeah, couple of in front of you. He gave you the head shake. Yeah. You stood your ground. Yeah. He knows that you've been warned, but you are not scared. He gave us a space and we left it alone. Yeah, so he gave us a head shake and then he warned us and uh, we're like, yeah, we respect your territory. Okay, I respect yours as well. Still a bit of a tense standoff there. So, more elephants in the road, more head shakes. All we can do is actually sit it out and let them move away can't push them off even though we are a bit late Have to give them their space because um, this is their home. 